Digital Secretary at the Office of the President, Dennis Itumbi, will remain in police custody for five more days. He was arrested on Wednesday in an ongoing investigation into the source of a letter that alleged that several cabinet secretaries met in a Nairobi hotel to plan how to assassinate the Deputy President William Ruto. And as Stephen Lato reports, Itumbi's arrest is the latest catalyst of the divisions in the Jubilee Party. The prosecution had sought to have Itumbi detained for 14 days to conclude their investigations, but Milimani senior resident magistrate Zainab Abdul declined the request but ordered police to continue holding the embattled Ruto man for the next five days. According to the prosecution, they will have to seek statements from 256 members of a WhatsApp group where Itumbi is alleged to have shared the letter. Your Honor, we pray that in considering this issue, it does weigh on your mind if some people are trying to get even using instruments of power given to them by the Constitution. Even as Itumbi was sent to Mudaiga police station, his arrest has triggered yet another bitter exchange between two factions in the Jubilee party. MPs allied to Deputy President William Ruto accusing the DCI of diverting the attention in his investigations into the Ruto assassination plot. There was never a plot by cabinet secretaries. But there might have been a plot by a cabinet secretary and a principal secretary and that is the veracity that we want DCI and all other investigative agencies to investigate. And I want to tell Kibicho na iyo guru yako, amuta tutisha Kenya hii, sisi siyo squatters, sisi ni wa Kenya, kama wa Kenya wengine. Kwa hivyo buwana DCI, Rudi Nyuma, Piga Hatua, Anzia Lamada. Back in Parliament, over 20 members of Parliament drawn from the team Kieleweke demanded that Deputy President William Ruto be probed over the fake letter seemingly traced back to his office. If indeed it is proved that this whole affair has originated from the Deputy President, we will be asking him to resign immediately. He has no business he has lost the moral authority to lead this republic. Sisi tungependa kumuliza naibu wa rais. Atoe apology kwa wa Kenya. Kwa sababu ofisi yake ndiyo ilipanga hii njama. Na tungependa kumuliza kwa heshima. Blackmailing the president. Using some lily words. Some demagogues. In the name of trying to paint the good name of our president. He wants to paint it wrong because... He is so focused on the idea of winning the 2022 elections while he's not performed anything. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV, Nairobi.